the reason that all these people get so like they poison their brains into like going after um, certain causes online is because they're really upset about something else. There's a fear and a, uh, uh, you know, past experiences that they're really more upset about than, you know, some casual racism that they display online. So that's kind of why we left a lot of that in there. It's almost like um, it's a way for them to almost forget their problems is to put your focus on new, a new target. Uh, rather than look inward and and find like the 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 truth about why you're upset there's a problem with men in this country especially young men in this country in the western world where there is a feeling where we don't feel welcome we don't feel a part of we feel denied by the rest of the world and for me i've always thought that the answer the solution to this how we resolve that your journey to be a great man is far beyond just blaming feminism or turning it into politics. That there's a discussion, there's an answer, there's a, a way that is far deeper than this. This is what we're talking about this week. This is what we're talking about building up to this interview that I did with the filmmakers of the movie Cuck. Now what you're gonna see in this interview clip that I'm about to show is writer-director Rob Lambert, as well as writer Joe Varkel talk about some of the struggles that young men had in the research that went into this film. What's interesting about this film is this isn't a film about politics. This isn't a film about what's right or wrong or the alt-right or the red pill. What it's really a film about is this phenomenon that we as human beings have, but also highlighted in young men right now, of this time of being isolated, confused, not knowing what to do and what that turns into. And truly, in my field, this film wasn't just a film about entertainment. This was a film about something that we need to be really aware of and start looking as a community to solve, not to blame, not to get angry about, but to solve. Okay, let's get into this interview clip. The full interview is going to be released Friday, May 1st, 2020. And if you haven't already seen the film, it's streaming on Amazon and all the different places you can see movies. Go get it. First of all, young men um, almost you know, unilaterally go through periods of frustration. I think it's very common. I think with a lot of the factors right now, uh, you know, male frustrations are actually very common. Whether they're tied to a lot of these other things is really a matter of exposure and sort of you know, you know, personal choice of do I indulge you know, in this sort of side of the internet or that side of the internet. But I think a lot of young men definitely feel that. And when I was growing up, I knew people like that. I mean, I've been frustrated, you know, Rob's been frustrated. I don't think there's been a you know, guy out there who hasn't experienced some things in that sense of feeling isolated or not being heard or whatever. Um, and all the experiences are unique to, you know, various individuals. But I think that, yes, there's absolutely a, uh, a common thread there. And I knew people that, you know, in the recession, I knew people that were, you know, in their late twenties and they were struggling, you know, romantically, they were you know, living with their parents. They were, you know, getting kicked around from one dead end job to another dead end job. And, you know, this is something that I think was also, it's always been an issue, but I think especially in that decade, we've seen even more and more of it because some of the paths that a lot of people find to success or to self-acceptance are just completely cut off. 